The bad news is that I'm scared. I you're pregnant. No. <laughs> The time has come. It's about to be a very expensive day and next 18 years. What's up fam? It's time. Probably tell by the title of this video, yeah. Can I tell you a secret? I'm getting your brothers a phone. They don't know yet, okay, don't tell them. Okay? Don't tell them, it's a secret. You're gonna surprise them with it. Don't tell them, okay? Can you go brush your hair? You want to stay in here with mommy and daddy while we, while we talk? The time has come and whew, I wasn't ready for it, but I guess I am ready for it because here I am doing it. Yes, love. We did a thing and it's happening. As you can see, I've got 100 devices behind me because we've got 100 kids. You can probably already tell what's happening by the title of this video, but the kids are each getting phones. Not really all of them, let me explain. So, Lilia got a phone when she was nine. The reason why she got it is because she started doing a lot of things alone. She went to her dad's house alone. She went to Girl Scouts alone. She actually went on a faraway trip to um, Disneyland with her Girl Scout troop for several days by herself. And when she started doing things alone, I was like, it's time for you to have a phone. And I just wanna clarify for a minute, giving your kid a phone, for me anyway, doesn't mean you have access to the world. We put insane parental controls on these things, because that's what you do nowadays. Like, you didn't get a phone when you were little. Like, I got a phone when I was like, late middle school, almost high school, I think, when I got a phone, but times are different. And Lilia already has a phone. Big Hayden already has a phone. And we actually just switched him. He actually got a phone through his mom. And then... The last, and to add on to that, the last day, before he left, the last time he was up here, it literally just stopped working, broke, non-functional, gone. So, I've been in contact with her since, and obviously Kate and Tommy are back now, and his phone is still not fixed. So I offered to purchase him a new phone and take care of it and just, you Like know, put it on our account, right, basically. Have it, have it just run through us, and she agreed, so. We so go. we just got him a phone, and uh, but he's already had a phone. And then the other day, Chris was, what, what sparked this whole car kind of conversation was that Chris wanted to get Tommy a phone. So originally, I think the plan was like, she was gonna pay for one phone and he was gonna pay for one phone. Right. We, just we, two of them. We talked about us just basically like splitting the cost. And then once Caden's phone broke and she didn't have time to fix it or you know what whatever the case was I was like you know what I'll just pay for both like it's not that big of a deal yeah so he put him on our account and then we got Tommy a phone <laughs> can you grab um, my thing on the camera real quick you what <laughs> can you grab it grab what you want no in here Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so you can call, text me, your mom, whatever, your brother. You're gonna keep it with you all the time. So when you go back to your mom, she's gonna keep it. Yes? Yes. That sparked this whole conversation of like the other kids getting phones. Lily was nine when she got her first phone and the reason why was because she was, like I said, doing things alone. And the twins have come to a point to where they're in the same boat. So little Caden specifically, they do th things differently now. Little Caden is at dance for several hours at a time now by himself or mixed in with Lilia, but they've got different classes. Kyson, on the other hand, he doesn't do dance anymore. However, he does go to his dad's house without his brother. Not all the time, but when he's over there, like he's also in situations where he is, I, as his mother, feel like he needs to have a phone when he's, when they're and, in certain situations. And you know what, it's like, yeah, their iPad has like FaceTime and texting capabilities. Only when you're on Wi-Fi. But you need to be on Wi-Fi, right, you need to be on mm -hmm. Wi-Fi. And only if your Wi-Fi is working, you think like this kid's getting a phone, he's only nine, like what the heck, but that's just like not what it is nowadays. Like there's so many, we specifically stick with iPhones because there's so many like, um, parental controls that you put on these things. Like these things, 
They're so customizable. <laughs> They're so controllable by parents nowadays. I'm not promoting it, I'm just saying. Don't come at me for, ooh, you're getting your nine-year-old a phone. Like, yeah, I am. My kids are in situations where I want them to be able to get a hold of me when I'm not there. We've tried, mind you. You guys know we've, we have logged this again and again and again and again and again. We have got them those kid watches that are offered through Verizon. It's called the Gizmo. Multiple times. We have tried them so many times and I actually really liked them. I loved them, but they kept Stop! Stop working! Stopping working. Stopping they kept working. not working. It's not that they were breaking. It's not that the kids were breaking you them. The they was? stopped charging. The the problem was they had a very poor design. They did, and it's a great idea. Great product, poor design. Poor design, and it came down to it where it's like I'm not gonna have my kid in a situation where like he can't wear his watch because of this, that, and the other. I just got fed up, and it's like you know what? They're just getting phones. I know these suckers work, so we're at that we're at that age, and I feel like I always remember talking about the day where one day we were gonna have to pay for a bunch of phone bills, like <laughs> low key help. <laughs> but, um, we're, gonna, we're gonna start a GoFundMe. <laughs> Or no, not, like, for the record. Times these days are a lot different than back when I was a kid. And there's some parents who are like, I'm never gonna, I'm not gonna get my kid a phone until such and such age, and that's great, but I just like, disagree. But when it comes down to it, this isn't a play device, have access to the world. Actually, oddly enough, ironically enough, my kids actually are not allowed on social media. They're not allowed on any form, which is ironic considering what we do. They're not allowed access to any social media, period. And you, there are... Um, I wouldn't even say it's ironic. It's you are in the perfect industry to know what to let and not let your kids look look at. at yeah. Mm -hmm. Although they all have Instagram accounts, I run it and I'll let them look at it with me and we can read comments together and they will help me pick pictures and stuff like that, but they have no direct access to social media, nor will they until they come of the right age to be. So like TikTok they say is age 13. Even for TikTok, I'm just like I don't even think adults should be on there half the time. TikTok's brutal, so I don't know about that. We'll have to see where that one goes. But like Instagram, things like that, my kids don't have access to that and they definitely still will not with this on it with all the parental controls and stuff. So I need to get case to buy cases for these you before do. Chris is setting them up back here. I'm having him kind of figure this stuff out. No joke, like case to sponsors my video, but I literally, literally love them. I got my mom a case. I'm about to get them cases because not only are they extremely protective, but they also, um, they're, they're drop tested for up to 9.8 feet, which is insane that the ultra impact ones are. And then the regular impact cases are drop tested for up to 6.6 .6 feet. They're also really slim, so you can keep them like in your back pocket and stuff. I'm just like such a fan of them. The impact cases are also engineered with a two layer construction of Chi Tech. They're just so much more protective than those like cheap ones that you find off of Amazon, which some of them are cute, but they definitely don't work. These are cute and they work. They come in a ton of different designs. So I'm gonna pick some out right now. Um, but you can pick like your favorite color to print and match your phone to your style. So you can, you can even customize them too. So you can put on there like your name or something that you you know your high school football number like whatever you want to put on there you can customize it case to five cases also have an antimicrobial coating on them so it kills up to 99 percent of bacteria but seriously truly there's like no other case that you can just like toss that's, <laughs> that's carpet so that doesn't even count but you could like i said they're drop tested and they are exactly what our family needs can you hand me that thing this one that i have on my phone right now is just an impact case and it has like the yellow and the greens on it i'm gonna get them you know what maybe i'll wait and let them pick out yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna wait and have them pick it out it's literally like military grade drop protection on these things oh i have a code too i'm gonna use my own code to get 15% off, you go to casefy.com. Why not? Slash Jess fam, you can get 15% off. I'm gonna do that right now <laughs> to get my kids phone cases. I have people ask me all the time what my code is for that, but that's what it is. So, gotcha. casefy.com slash Jess fam. I'm about to use my own code right now. We've got one of them for little kid and one of them for Kyson, and then um, Big Kaden's new one that we just got him through our plan. What do you think they're gonna say? I think, you know what? I think little Kaden is somewhat expecting it a little bit because of Tommy. But Kyson is gonna flip out. Kyson's gonna flip, yeah. Did you sign them in on their stuff yet? No. While we were at the Verizon store, we also, or at the Apple store first, is the first guy that we talked to was at the Apple store. We also tried talking about, they need, Apple needs to come out with a like kid designed watch. Like the one that Verizon tried to do, but didn't succeed I, at. You know what's funny is actually when we got those gizmo watches for the kids, I had a ton of people in the comments be like, those things don't work. But they worked for a long time and then they just stopped working. And then we then we tried to call customer service and we got them replaced, they sent them back to us. Like we did everything and we ended up just saying, you know what, we want our money back. They did not serve its purpose. So we've had so many issues, which is why we're just like, we're fed up. We, we, need, we want to be able to communicate with our kids uh, when they're not with us and 
Not want to, fuck it. We need to. <laughs> End of story. I'm not gonna trust other people to be like. Not. Not. I don't want to have to call people to be like, can yeah. I talk to? Like, no, I'm. Not not being able to talk to your kids is not negotiable. Especially when it's in a blended family, and I'm just being totally real with you guys. When you're in a blended family, things are just different. Like him being able, it's not always realistic to like call his ex-wife and be like, hey, can I talk to the boys? Or he'll call their Facetime their iPads and they don't have them. Or I just feel like that's that's a whole different world of being able to communicate with your kids. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> look at my little twinnies! Yeah, you guys are Just so wanted to make a quick video and say how much we love you guys. And we appreciate you. And then if you could please go downstairs and clean the kitchen. Can you use something else for me? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have something. Yeah. <laughs> Some good news. What's the bad news? Good news and bad news. Huh? Under okay. pressure to hop. The bad news is... Hmm. What's the bad news, babe? The bad news is that it took a long time to get here. <laughs> the bad news is that I. You're pregnant! No! That would be bad news. <laughs> would that be good news or bad news? Good news. Bad. He says good, you say bad. <laughs> That's why we're not twins. I think it would be bad, because who's is it? <laughs> It'd be Seven, bad. I, it, I, I think it would be good, good, good and bad. Good and bad, but okay. I, I know what the bad news is. What's the bad news? I'm adopted. You're not adopted. <laughs> <coughs> Promise you, he does not have coronavirus. The bad news is, is that... More chores. More chores. And money. The good news is... The good news is... What? What? You each got your own phones. <laughs> what on earth? His pop socket just fell off. <laughs> listen, Linda's, come here. Linda, listen, listen, listen. This is not. This comes with a lot of responsibility. There's a lot of parental controls on here. This is not an iPad. You don't get to play lots of crazy games on here. You're gonna have a few basic ones. Pokemon? This is for, you can have Pokemon, that's fine. This is for communication. Mm -hmm. This is for calling me whenever you're at dance. Calling me when you're at soccer. Mm -hmm. Calling me, look at, I've already lost them. <laughs> sit up and look at me right now. We're gonna set it up. Set can up. I do my wallpaper? Yes, listen, I haven't set anything up on it yet, but I'm going to put a bunch of things on here and I'm gonna explain to you how to use it, okay? Can I trust you? Yes. Can I trust you? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. One of your responsibilities with this, I expect you to keep this charged. I expect you to not lose it. I know. I expect you to treat it like it is a glass plate. Huh? This is a bad example. I, I, I don't expect glass plate. Also, another rule. You do not get them all the time. You get them when you're going places. You get them when you're on your way to soccer. You get them when you're on your way to dance. I, I'm you get going them when to the stable. On the plane. What's the stable? I'm going to that. That's not how it works. Do you understand? Yes. Do you yes. sign on the dotted line? Sign your name. Go right here. Sign. Sign your name. Kaden. <laughs> Kaisen. You sign. Sign your name on the dotted line. I. If you do not take care I, of this, I, 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 listen. I need to name. If you do not take care of it, it will get taken away. Okay. Done. Understood. I need to name. I am a dog. What is up with you and the being adopted lately? One of the reasons why I wanted to hurry up and get this to them now is because they, Landon and Kyson are going to their dad's house today. Kaden decided he doesn't want to go, um, but it's been a while since they've been over there. And since we were talking about getting them a phone anyway, I wanted to make sure that I got it to him before they leave. So I wanted to hurry up and set it up. That way he had it for when he's there. But when you two come back, that's gonna be the day that we're packing and getting ready to leave. It's almost time. So we've got Kyson and Landon. I am going to a dentist appointment as per usual. I've been living at that place. I'm supposedly getting my last cap my phone? for the moment. It's charging right now. Look at these boys. They still get a toy even when they don't get their teeth worked on. I'm done. We're done at the dentist. If you're wondering why I switched cars, we had a little bit of an incident on the way here. Ma, excuse me. I may or may not have accidentally popped the no, you tire I, I like of the blue car. Oh. Is it? It looks low, huh? It's popped? 
It doesn't look that bad. Uh, yeah, okay, it's pop. And I think she also broke something at the bottom of the car. No, I just popped the tire. I hit the curb. Literally right after I pulled away from the house, like there, as soon as curb, I turn on. Curb. No, it's curb. As soon as I turned away from my house, there's like a curb right there and I hit the curb. Oh my gosh, and it popped the tire, so I immediately turned around, and we had to take this car, so that's where this we're at. This even bigger than this so. That's okay, huh? Yeah, but I am done. I was really worried that the temp that the permanent um, crown wouldn't fit on my tooth because my temporary crown has popped off three times since I got it on, so I've been chewing on it and everything, and it's just been exposed, so I was really stressed about it. But it fit, and I just hope it stays on. <laughs> It's been a nightmare. My, if you've been following my teeth journey over the last several um, weeks, I just I've had three teeth break. I am so happy that I'm done, at least for now. Now that I'm done there, we actually are gonna go over to Rosalind's house. Ryan used to her husband. Ryan used to work for Apple, so he knows like everything about. Um, Apple devices like he's literally when I call him he answers Apple support because he knows that when I'm calling him or when Chris is calling him most of the time it's a question about some kind of device so I called him earlier he was like what's up and I was like I'm just calling because I need to make an in-person appointment for Apple support <laughs> basically he's gonna help me set up all the parental controls and stuff on the new phone and then I'm gonna go home and then I'll apply all those also One, to Kaden's phone because Kaden's obviously not here three. but I'm gonna do it to Kyson's phone before he leaves for the weekend so luckily Rosalind lives right down the street from my dentist so I'm going to head over that way and have him help me set up this phone Apple support <laughs> I'm here for my appointment <laughs> I have an in-person appointment <laughs> sorry I have an in-person appointment with Apple I like that the Apple support here also serves as a babysitter. Oh, that works. <laughs> Rosa and I had a date to get our nails done. Oh, yeah. Um, did you, you didn't take them off? No. You can have them do it. We are going on vacation. <laughs> it's it's okay. Two days. Two-ish, two and a half days. Maybe it's going to register now. Like, it hasn't it's really. Has me it either. To you? I haven't packed yet, so no. Yeah. We are back. Nails are ready for vacation. And so we're officially going to set up this phone. So All right, so now from your phone. Small, small Wait, I'm gonna make a happy face. All of like the yeah, limits. So now you were in the same place. So now go to content and privacy. There you can turn on. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Oh, is this to, mine? This is yours. Yeah, you create one that you wouldn't be able to guess. Pasco changes don't allow. Account changes Account don't, allow. Changes don't allow. allow. But I want him to always be able to call yeah, me. So right? that's that's when you go always allowed, right? And you're gonna add so phone, FaceTime, messages. messages, and Max is always there. Mm, I love you. Have fun, okay? Okay. Call me. Call me. You phone it. Call me. <laughs> <laughs>